Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a brand new video, I hope you've had a lovely week. So today I'm changing up a bit, we're going back to last year and we're going to do 24 hours eating only Easter food. Now I really, really, really enjoyed this last time, like it was such a fun video, so I'm so excited to do it again. Also, I realised in the thumbnail, I'm wearing my pink hoodie, so I did originally put it on and then I realised that I actually wore it in my last video as well, so yeah, I just put my grey hoodie on, sorry for the inconsistency, but yeah, I put two Easter bunny crumpets in the toaster already because it is 11 o'clock, I'm having a late breakfast because I wasn't hungry and now I'm starving, so yeah, and we've also got a Krispy Kreme donut, which I'm gonna try now. It looks amazing. I thought this was filled with jam. It might be further in the donut. So they had three Easter donuts, and I picked this one because it was meant to be jam filled. However, it is really good. It's got popping candy on the top. I'm not really sure what makes it Easter-y. Like the other one I think was like cream egg filling, but it's really good. Okay, so I've just bitten into the side and it does have jam in it. That's better. Jam donuts are just elite. I'm sorry for anyone that says differently. Oh wow, my mouth is literally popping. Yeah, they've put quite a bit of popping candy on this. But yeah, anyone that likes custard donuts, what's wrong with you? I'm sorry, Tyler loves custard donuts, but they just don't do it for me. So I've got my two Easter bunny crumpets. They've been popped out the toaster. I've been covered in some flora and don't they look adorable? So I'm literally just gonna chill on the sofa and eat these. I'm not gonna time lapse because Elliot's being a bit whingy plus what we're watching on youtube i don't want to get copyrighted but i'll check back in with you guys in a minute depending on what i choose to have for a snack or lunch so it is now lunch time it is 1.41 my phone focuses so I'm getting slightly peckish again as you saw I had a little snack of a gingerbread rabbit but we're gonna make some pizza so I wanted to get the Easter pizza from Asda however they only had it in firecracker and I didn't really fancy a jalapeno pepper pizza basically so we got a normal pizza and we're gonna cut it out so it looks like a rabbit and make our own so let me show you so we just got our standard as the cheese and tomato pizza and we're gonna basically copy what they do and I know the base is different but we're gonna make it a rabbit shape of a rabbit it actually looks like but hey ho we tried why is my child in the kitchen cupboard hey monkey so we're just gonna put this on a baking tray and pop it in the oven so guys while i wait for my pizza to cook i'm just going to enjoy this gorgeous mini egg yogurt i don't think i've ever had one of these and what better time than an easter video however 
that is shocking. Four mini eggs. What is that? That's robbery. However, let's try the chocolate bit. I might as well have bought chocolate mousse and a bag of mini eggs probably would have been cheaper. So the pizza is out the oven. It's done. Kind of forgot about it. But hey ho, we didn't let it burn. So it's all good. But oh my god, look how well it turned out. I mean, I kind of think it looks a little bit like a frog. But we're going to ignore that and say it does definitely look like a bunny. Now, I didn't want to cut it because I just didn't want to ruin it, especially before showing you guys. So, you know, I'm just going to rip it and eat it. Rip, cut. Totally different things. Elliot's got the offcuts, which normally I get the offcuts of his. So, you know, it makes change. He's also got some quavers and he's got a little jammy dodger biscuit, haven't you, bud? Shall we move you so you're in the... There you go, your little head popping up. Your little head popping up. Is that nice? So we are gonna rip the ear off first. His ear's gone. He's been decapitated. bed it is just gone six and i'm getting rather peckish again i have been munching on these mini cream eggs which have now all gone and yeah it's time for dinner so i did get a couple bits i got a choice basically of sweet and savory but i've had so much sweet today that i am really really fancying something savory which if anyone knows me like personally that is really unlike me so we have both of these because they said new it's four st clementine hot cross buns and then we've got the four tomato and red leicester hot cross buns which i thought were really interesting so i'm gonna pop the four tomato and red leicester ones in the toaster however i'm not popping all four in i'm only gonna put two in i might have the clementine ones depending how i feel but yeah i'm gonna pop them in the toaster and then i'll catch up with you when we're back on the couch so they have been toasted as I showed you while I was spreading the butter and they do smell really really strong of like cheese but it's kind of creeping my brain out because obviously you expect hot cross buns to be sweet. They're actually really good though. I wouldn't call it a hot cross bun though, it kind of just tastes like a cheese roll. Like I get why it would appeal to people because not obviously everyone has sweet tooths and obviously that market has always been predominantly sweet whether it's hot cross buns normally or the chocolate chip ones or any other variation. They've never done this before, not that I've seen anyway. I didn't toast them so much because I actually thought they were burning but I think it was catching on something in the toaster. But it obviously is hot enough because it's melted the spread and I actually kind of prefer it that way because it's like slightly soft and warm but it's not like hard they are quite filling which has been really surprising like I've 
not really been that hungry today but personally i probably wouldn't buy them again i would just get like the cheese top rolls you can get for like sandwiches but i definitely recommend them they're from asda i know it probably said on the packaging but i showed you these two but they did have like extra fruity ones as well and i think there was also a different like berry variation i think it was cranberries and something else but they did have quite a few which really surprised me now i'm going to stop chatting and keep eating this probably will be the end of the video unless i snack some more but i'm not really hungry as i said so i'll probably just have this and then chill and watch some tv but if you did like this video remember to give it a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button it would really mean a lot to me guys i think the latest statistics when i last checked is like 70 percent of you watching aren't subscribed so i mean that 30 percent thank you so much but 70 percent that really really helped me out so if you could do that remember it put it as a reminder on your phone if you like me and you forget full so yeah have a good evening guys and keep eating those easter foods keep finding new treats and if you do find any new treats let me know what they are <laughs>